Hi, my name is Carly DeMarco and I'm an occupational therapy student at Stockton University and this is my video reflection for the Displaced Persons course of summer 2023 for Professional Issues 2. And I'll begin by saying yes, after finishing this assignment, I definitely feel way more knowledgeable about possibly participating as a professional assisting a displaced individual. And that's just because my prior knowledge on this subject was very minimal, both on being displaced as well as occupational therapy's role in this unique situation. So this course was able to provide a great foundational knowledge for me. So something valuable about my learning of this subject is definitely the overall reality of being displaced. So I have never been displaced and I also do not know anybody who has been displaced personally. So this has made me really thankful and appreciative of my own circumstances. Um, because before I had really seen being displaced as um, a situation on the news and you just think like, wow, that's awful, but you really don't know the reality of it until you're thrown into it or you decide to take a course like I did. So these situations of both natural disasters and being displaced, um, they can happen to anybody. So this information is very useful. So no matter what age, race, gender, or profession, like this is very useful information to have. So. I also really appreciate how occupational therapy is so diverse and we're able to take a holistic approach and greatly impact somebody's life. So this approach to skilled occupational therapy is completely different than anything I've ever seen before or have been taught in school. So this is completely new to me. Um, some of the most valuable things I had learned during this course would be helping our clients adapt and navigate through being thrown into new occupational roles and routines so suddenly So and helping them navigate that. Um, oftentimes, we do collaborate with our client as their needs may change from day to day. So keeping that line of communication open um, between myself and the client or the occupational therapist and the client um, is very important in this situation. So as well as myself or the occupational therapist in this situation, um, I may be learning about things the same time the client is. So it's really important that I keep myself up to date and that we work together, work and learn together to figure out um, what the best approach is to treatment. So um, the creativity of the occupational therapist is also very much on display in this setting and situation. So some great examples in the course were um, social integration and parent-child interactions. Um, the creativity with that, I feel like in everyday life is a little bit taken for granted. So in this situation, um, it's we're basically building new foundations, um, new norms of these situations. So everybody is completely thrown for what is happening. So we're just establishing new routines, new roles. Um, so as well as myself, so I might need to change up my personal or professional approach to the situation depending on what new information I'm given from day to day. From day, to day. So. My plan yesterday may be different from today, may be completely different from tomorrow. So I just need to stay on the ball and definitely think outside the box. I also love how this taught that um, advocating for our clients can make a huge difference in an inclusive society. So making sure that everybody can access whatever resources they need is very important for this um, situation for this unique situation, um, no matter what adaptions they need or what situation they may be in. it's just really important to make sure that everybody can access what they need and um, that everything is very accessible just in general. So um, as well as picking out occupational strengths in a situation that may seem totally negative can also help find, can help clients find personal strength again. So. Um, this is obviously a very negative situation for somebody to go, to go through. So picking out occupational strengths um, for people to hang on to is very inspirational for this profession, for me personally. And um, I also really enjoyed this course, just like watching the videos, reading about people's personal experience and being displaced. Um, occupational therapy has a very unique perspective in this situation. Um, that I've really come to appreciate more after taking this course. And it really makes me feel proud to be a future occupational therapist and um, just absolutely having your life flipped upside down in a matter of even days or hours can be incredibly frustrating. Um, but we work at all levels in the reestablishment of livelihoods and help people build help in these situations where they may not see that they have any. So, um, so yeah, I really love that occupational therapy really brings in this new perspective to an incredibly 
negative situation. So.